Luna has performed exceptionally well over the past weekend, so I thought to kick off this week we'd perform some price analysis on Luna to see where it could be going in the next few days. Let's take a look. How's it going guys? Ryan here and welcome back to another crypto video. Today we are once again taking a look at Luna as it has performed incredibly well over the weekend. We're going to perform our usual technical analysis and look at the price action to make some predictions on where we could see Luna go in the next few days and weeks. But before we get into that guys, please remember to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy today's video and subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of content. We cover crypto, investing, stocks and wealth management. So if that tickles your fancy, hit subscribe and turn on bell notifications. And I'd also love to know down in the comment section below if you are a Luna holder or plan to be in the near future. But without further ado, let's jump into CoinSpot. Welcome back into CoinSpot, guys. If you're looking to buy Luna or any other cryptocurrencies, there is a link down in the description of this video where you can sign up and start buying now. But the last time we looked at Luna, it was on the 8th. And as you can see, from that point, we have performed extremely well. Going from roughly a low right here of $8.88 all the way through to a high which occurred today at $11.98. We're currently sitting at a level of $11.35 all Australian. I'd also actually love to know if you want me to do these in US dollars, let me know down in the comment section below as well. Just let me know about that. But let's chuck in some interesting points of support and resistance. And I'm gonna go the daily chart for that. And as you can see, straight off the bat, it looks like we've basically broken out of where we were. I mentioned in the last video that a key point would be at this $10.50 mark, and it has been absolutely smashed. As you can see, I'm going to chuck in a little line just to show exactly where that's sitting. Roughly about there, that $10.50 mark was smashed and that was on the 9th of July right there and it has performed pretty well since that point as well. Not only have we seen consistent closing above that $10.50 point, each day we have seen consistent growth as well and that I mean we are seeing lower lows every single day. So we're going up and up and up, which is nice. Today we haven't seen a higher high than we have on the previous days, but we are still moving in the right direction. Now I'm just gonna zoom in a bit more here as well. Now, this is obviously going very, very well. This $10.50 mark is now our new point of support. And you can see we are sort of trending now in this sort of a direction, in a, well, a, a northern direction basically. This is only a three day sort of moving trend I put here, so it could quite easily be broken, but it acts as, I suppose, a bit of a guide for us at this point in time with regards to where the price could be going. So in theory, we could be seeing potentially $12 within the next few days if it does maintain this style of trend. But the key point to note is where is our current point of resistance that we need to breach in order to keep moving upwards. So we're going to zoom out for this one a bit because we really want to take into consideration previous price action here. And that's due to the fact that in, I suppose, the past month or so, there hasn't been much price action in this area. So as you can see on the chart, the last time we had sort of price action from a, I suppose a big sense between $10.50 and all the way through to $20 was literally back in May when we had a huge drop and then previously back in March when we started to have a really good climb with the entire crypto market overall. So we're gonna use those basically as baselines. And the point I really see as one which will result in, I suppose, quite a bit of price action is this point here. And that is at roughly the $14.80 Australian mark. And the reason I'm chucking this one in 
is for, well, one main reason. And the main reason is the fact that we have seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven previous days of price action within the past couple of months there. So it acts as, I suppose, a next major point of resistance for us. And we're gonna be hopefully trending upwards towards that point. We may see it tested if we continue in an upwards direction within the next week or so. So for today, guys, that is going to be our key target that we wanna be moving towards next. And hopefully we breach it. If we don't, it's not a major issue, but we will, I suppose, be then bouncing back down towards the $10.50 mark, which is all good. We're still moving positively, consolidating, all that sort of good stuff, guys. So let's bring in a few more indicators to just see exactly how we're going. The first one is going to be the MACD. And as you can see from an MACD perspective, both the short and long-term trends are still trending upwards. I'm not sure if we'll see maybe a slight drop off of momentum. I'm hoping not, but we are going in the right direction. Not much to see here since last video, so I won't dwell on that too much. The next one we want to have a look at is the relative strength index. Chuck that one in. And as you can see, we're still in the good zone between 30 points and 70 points. We're at the high end currently sitting at roughly 64 points at the moment. So we're moving towards the top end of our band. Now, we're still, as I said, sitting in the safe range. If it exceeds 70 points, then we have been overbought and I suspect we'll start to see some downwards momentum. I wouldn't be surprised if this started to drop and ease off with buying as well. You can see the volume as well on the chart just here is starting to drop off over the past few days slightly after our nice big runs. Hopefully we see that start to come back, but it's all right for the time being because the RSI is starting to relax out a bit. If we could drop back down to maybe the 60 point mark before our next move, then that would be fantastic. So I'll bring in our final indicator now as well. And our final indicator is to do with our usual moving averages. I'm gonna put in the 20 day, the, the 50 day, and of course, the 200 day. So the 20 day is going to be here in blue. The 50 day, I'm going to chuck in as red. And the 200 day, I'm going to chuck in as our final color, and that's going to be purple. And something incredible has actually just occurred. And that is the fact that we have seen a golden cross of the 20 day above the 50 day moving average. That is fantastic news right now. That is a golden cross and it is indicating to us right now that we are seeing a shift in the trend. The last cross we had was a death cross. And that was back in, I suppose, the middle of May when we had a big dive along with the rest of the crypto market. Looks like our consolidating has paid off and momentum is coming back to us, which is great for Luna and Luna holders, obviously. So the next moving average target we wanna see is A, to keep it above the 50 day. The 20 day needs to stay above the 50 day as much as it can. And just for your reference, the 20 day moving average seeing at eight, dollars and 67 Australian and it is uh, the 50 days sitting at eight dollars 37 at the moment target B is then as well the 200 day moving average we want to see that one get crossed and that's sitting at roughly eleven dollars and 71 cents I'm suspecting what we're going to see is this 20 days now going to keep moving upwards in this sort of a direction I think the 200 days going to either drop or level out because it needs to take into consideration all this price action that's occurred within March, April, May. So they are big, big numbers as we can clearly see there. So I think we're gonna see that be reflected then obviously in the 200 day moving average. And hopefully if we maintain positive momentum over the next few weeks, we will see another golden cross of the 20 day through this 200 day and then hopefully down the track the 50 day through the 200 day as well. 
That wraps up the lunar analysis for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below and as well if you are a lunar holder. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this style of content, make sure you subscribe and hit bell notifications so you're notified every single time a new video is released. But I'll leave it there, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.